Cisco Secure Firewalls are advanced network security solutions designed to protect your organization from evolving cyber threats across data centers, branches, and cloud environments, offering comprehensive threat defense and control. You set up access controls on them to define specific rules, often called access control lists, that dictate which traffic, users, or applications are permitted or denied access to your network resources. This prevents unauthorized access, blocks malicious activity, and ensures compliance with your security policies, safeguarding your critical data and systems. Let's check it out. All right, so just to show you first that things are acting normally here, I'm going to go ahead and access this URL bleta.lab.local. And as you can see, there's no issue currently accessing it. Uh, the test page loads successfully. Let's now jump into the Firewall Management Center or FMC for Cisco Secure Firewall. Let's go ahead and click on Objects and Object Management. And we're going to go ahead and add a new network object. This is going to be for the jump host that we're using in our lab environment to access this bleta.lab.local URL. We'll just go ahead and put the IP address in there, but you can also do things like ranges or an entire network as well too, and be able to set up an object and policies around that as well. And next we need to create a URL object as well for our bleta.lab.local URL. So you can click add URL, then add object. And let's just call this bleta URL, and we'll put the URL in there, bleta.lab. Dot local. All right, so we have our two objects that we need to do this created now. Let's jump over to our policies and go to access control. And let's jump into our FTD initial policy here and edit it. And let's go ahead and add a new rule. We'll call this restrict access to Bleta. And the action that we want to take is block. Now remember that network object we created earlier for our jump host. Let's go ahead and click networks and select that from this drop down list here of networks. And then we want to select the URL that we created earlier as well too to have that be the destination. So if we go to URLs here, we can see that Bleta URL that we created is there and we can add it to the rule. Now, once you've added this rule, your changes are not quite saved yet. You first have to hit save in the top right corner. And then you actually have to go ahead and deploy those changes to your different devices as well. So you can click that deploy button in the top right corner and then click deploy all and that will go ahead and deploy those to your Cisco firewall devices. So now that that's complete, we should have access restricted between our jump host and that URL bleta.lab.local. Let's go ahead and jump back over to that lab host and test this out. So you can see we try to access bleta.lab.local here, which did previously work before, but now we get access denied. You are attempting to access a forbidden site. So it's very easy to set up access control list inside of Cisco's secure firewalls. You can learn more about how to do this as well at u.cisco.com. So check it out today.